welcome to our Crazy Life Scotland, it's Fiona here and this is my weekly update video. How are you all doing? I hope you're all well. I'm doing pretty good. Um, we had a great weekend away in Port of Monteith beside Stirling last weekend. Now, I did do a vlog. I'm sorry it took so long to put it up. Hopefully it will be up before this. Um, but basically, I was hoping to get it uploaded when I took the girls to the dentist on Monday, but my mum and dad offered to take them as well, which was very nice of them, so I didn't say no. So I've not had a chance to get it uploaded, but I'll get it uploaded tonight, which is Thursday. Um, so hopefully it will go up tonight live on YouTube and then tomorrow, not live, you know what I mean? It will go on YouTube tonight and then this should go up tomorrow. All going well. Um, but yeah, we had a really good weekend. I'm not going to go into it too much because you will see it all in the vlog. What I will say is I stayed keto. I stayed keto the whole weekend in the caravan and I'm so proud of myself. I have done a separate what I ate video um, for anyone who's interested. I was going to do it all in one, but it was making the vlog way too long. It was about an hour long, so um, I took that out and did it as a separate video. So if anybody wants to see what I did actually eat over the weekend to stay keto, then you are more than welcome to watch that. Um, what else? I was marshalling, so I was out and about quite a bit. And um, I had a bit of a catastrophe on the Sunday. Again, I won't give away any spoilers by telling you what happened, but... Um, it was a bit of a catastrophe and I did suffer for it for a few days. I'm better now. <laughs> um, yeah, the least said about that, the better. You need to watch the vlog to find out what actually happened to me. Um, I still can't get over it. However, uh, where was I? Yeah, so good weekend. Stayed keto. Very proud of myself. Didn't manage the intermittent fasting on the Friday, but I knew I wouldn't. Um, I was late eating, finishing eating on the Friday. However, the Saturday and Sunday I managed to do it, which was good because the time of the marshalling meant that I was out of the caravan about quarter to ten and I'm never hungry before that. And I wasn't back in until about eleven o'clock, so it was about eleven o'clock before I was eating and I just made sure that I finished eating about seven o'clock. So yeah, I did really, really well. I was very, very proud of myself because it is hard when you're away the weekend to do intermittent fasting, never mind keto. So to do both was very good. Um, like I said, Monday, I was meant to be taking the girls to the dentist just for their checkup. However, I was exhausted after the weekend um, my mum and dad were staying in the cabin, so they offered to take them and take them out for dinner at the same time. So, of course, the girls were like, yeah, please, please. And I was like, yes, I don't need to go out. Um, so that was really good. Tuesday, I was still quite exhausted, but not quite as bad. Um, I did have, there was a, an open afternoon, well, an open half hour on at Brooks School after school that you could go up just have a look around the classroom and see what work they've been doing. So I went up there with my mum and dad, um, but unfortunately I knew it wouldn't be away long enough for my video to upload, that's why it didn't. So I went up there and came back and did pretty much not a lot else. And then yesterday I was feeling a lot stronger, that was Wednesday, and I actually managed to do some housework. Um, and I've managed to do a wee bit today as well. So. I'm definitely getting better. I'm definitely more on track energy-wise, health-wise, which is good. Also talking about health, the pain in my feet's been a bit better this week. So fingers crossed that's all starting to get better again. Um, because for anyone who doesn't know, I'm mostly doing the keto diet for my health, for my chronic illness and the chronic pain in my feet more than weight loss. But weight loss is important to me as well. Talking of that, I still haven't weighed. I have been good. Sorry if the light's gone a bit funny. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. I'm right at the window. Is that better? No, not really. Um, I am desperate to weigh myself because I'm definitely feeling slimmer. I'm nowhere near as bloated. My clothes are feeling better on me. And I really do feel like I've lost weight. And I'm desperate to weigh. But I'm not going to. I'm being good. Oh, this light is doing my head in. Um... 
yeah, I'm sticking to it. I said I wasn't going to weigh all month and I won't. Um, but yeah, it's really, really driving me crazy wanting to weigh. But I really do feel like I'm on track weight-wise as well as health-wise, which is great. Food-wise, I have been really good this week. Um, again, intermittent fasting, eating half past ten till half past six. And I've eaten quite a bit of salad this week. I was really in the mood for salad when I was doing my Asda order, but then when I was eating it I thought, why did I get this? <laughs> um, really didn't enjoy it that much, but I ate it because it was there. I'm really just not a big veggie person, um, which is great on the keto diet because you don't need to eat a lot of veg, but I had, had it in my head for some reason that I should eat salad this week. Maybe my body was trying to tell me something. I don't know. But I did have iceberg lettuce, spinach, cucumber, spring onion, and just two of the little baby plum tomatoes a day because tomatoes are quite carby. And I had that either with my main meal at night or with yesterday I had it with um, the John West chilli and garlic tuna, the wee tub of that. I had that on the salad and some cheese sprinkled on top, which was lovely. Um, yeah, so I've had a lot of salad. I'm not going to do that next week, I don't think. Um, what else have I had? Oh, I made a chicken and mushroom soup yesterday in the soup maker because, let's face it, it's getting to that time of year, folks, isn't it? Um, so I got the soup maker out. I made a lovely chicken and mushroom soup, which was keto friendly and would also be slim and moral, calorie counting friendly um, for the most part, um, for the way that I made it. But then what I did at the end was I got three portions out of it and before I served each portion, sorry that was rather flying down, um, before I served each portion as I heated it up, I just added some creme fraiche into it and stirred it round to give it that creaminess and uh, to make it a little bit more fatty and filling. Um, but obviously without that it would have been perfectly, it would have been sin free on Slim and World. Just basically stock, celery, um, chicken and mushrooms and that was it. It was lovely, very good. Um, and what I did one of the days was I made a garlic truffle. So just my normal truffle mix with the, an egg, 50 grams of cheese and I added some garlic powder to it and put it in the, the waffle maker and I made it really quite crispy and then broke it up into bits and put it in my soup so it was like garlic cheesy croutons. Oh, it was really, really good. So yeah, I have had quite a lot of truffles this week because um, I made sure that I took plenty with me at the weekend just to make sure that I stayed on track. Um, but I'm not reliant on them. I've half had days that I've not had any. Like yesterday, I didn't have any truffles. So it's not that I'm becoming addicted. Um, but it is a good way of eating lots of different things. Instead of just having some tuna on a plate, for example, have it on a truffle. It makes it more filling and more interesting to eat as well. So yeah, I've had that. I didn't make my breakfast pizza last week that I was going to make. I've still not made it this week. I do intend to make it next week, definitely. Um, and I will let you know how that goes. But yeah, I think I've had a really good week of eating. I did want to check my ketone levels and my blood sugar before I started this video and I forgot. Do you know what? I'm going to go and do it just now because even though I'm not weighing, doing my keto ketone levels and my blood sugar levels is a good way of seeing that I'm definitely on track. So bear with me, I'm going to go and do that and I'll put the results in, I'll talk to you about the results. Right, bear with me. And I'm back. Sorry if the angles changed slightly, I had to take my phone with me to take photos. So, I just did my ketone reading and my blood sugar reading and I will talk about these just now. So it was 9.23 when I took my blood glucose, as you will see from this picture, and it was 5.8, which I've been fasting since half past six last night. Still a wee bit high, but it's better than it has been. Um, so that was my blood sugar. And then I tested my ketones at the same time, well, right after, and that was 1.4. Um, sorry, that picture's a bit blurry. Um, I was a bit shaky. And so working that out, uh, using those figures to work out the GKI, the glucose ketone index, which I've spoken about in other videos, 
um, which is basically my blood sugar divided by my ketones, I get a blood glucose index of 4.14, which is moderate ketosis. I would like it to be higher. It has been, I have been in the higher level um, quite a few times, but I'm quite happy with that. I will go with that. 4.14 is moderate ketosis. So I'm well on track for helping things like um, type 2 diabetes, obesity, um, weight loss, all of that. So insulin resistance. So I am quite happy with that. So at least although I've not weighed, I know that I'm definitely doing the diet right and I'm on track. Um, the other thing that I've been doing this week is I've been drinking a lot more H2O. Um, yes, it's sparkling water, but I've been drinking it plain. I've not been drinking it with the skinny syrups in it and I'm getting good at it. I'm quite proud of myself. So when I'm not fasting, I'm drinking my Pepsi Max because that is life. Um, but when I'm fasting, I'm drinking my sparkling water. Occasionally, if I'm going out, I'll take one of the cans of the, like the Millions Fizzy drink that I got in b and I showed it in the B&M's haul because that's got sucralose in it but no SK so it doesn't um, break your fast. So if I am going out like tonight, a Thursday night, I'm always out and about for Brooks Drama, I'll take a can of that with me rather than taking a massive big bottle of flavoured uh, sparkling water with me. So um, yeah, I'll have that but I will still be fasting. But generally I'm getting really good at just drinking sparkling water so I'm proud of that so yeah it's been a good week um health energy wise I'm definitely starting to feel better diet wise I'm happy I love eating this way I really do I enjoy the food and yeah I'm just I'm happy um coming up this week I'm not away in the caravan this weekend thankfully I am not completely relaxed though. Saturday I have got to take Brooke to a horse riding lesson in the morning and then it's going to be a new stables that's quite close to us that we're going to try out so we'll see how that goes. And then on Saturday night Abby and I are going to the Hydro in Glasgow to see Russell Howard the comedian so we're really looking forward to that. The doors open at half six, the show starts at eight so what I'll do is I'll just make sure that I have my last thing to eat at um, before we leave the house and so I'll still be able to intermittent fast no problem. I will probably get like a um, sugar free iron brew or cola or whatever they've got there. They don't let you take your own drinks in, they don't let you take cans in um, because <sighs> health and safety. Yeah, right, it's nothing to do with health and safety. They want you to buy their products. So, yeah, I will have a sort of drink when I'm there. So, strictly speaking, I won't be fasting until later. But eating-wise, I'll be stopping eating probably about 6 o'clock, I would say, depending on what time we leave. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And then on Sunday... Abby and Brooke are going to the football with Jack. Jack's got his dad's season tickets as well as his own. So Abby's taking a friend and Brooke will be going with Jack. So I'm going to have the house to myself. They're leaving about 10 in the morning. So I'm going to have a me day on Sunday. I'm going to have a long lie. And then when they leave at 10 o'clock, I'm going to get up and have a shower. Then I'm going to go into the in fact you know what I'm not even going to go into the living room I'm going to lie on my bed and put something on Netflix a nice girly film I'm going to put on a couple of candles and I'm going to use one of these which my bestie Tracy the Mad Scots last sent me through thank you so much Tracy um, these are the face masks that Tracy's always going on about in her Poundland hauls and I've been desperate to try them. So it's the Avocado and Oats face mask and the Kale face mask and I have been saying for ages that I want to try them but I never get a chance to go to Poundland. So Tracy very kindly bought these for me and sent them through and I got them yesterday. So that's going to be me on Sunday. A wee pamper with a face mask, watching a girly film, some candles lit. Now, 
usually when I have a day like that, I would treat myself to some really naughty food. I'm thinking on Sunday I might do something similar, but keto friendly naughty food. So I might have, I've got the Halo peanut butter swirl, I think they're called, ice lollies, the, the ice cream lollies. And strictly speaking, they're not clean keto because they do have some sugar in them, but the carb level is low enough to be able to have them without affecting my ketone levels. And I might also treat myself to a fat bar, which um, I have had, which I had in the, oh, my words aren't coming out today, sorry about this. You'll have seen them in my What I Ate Over The Weekend video, or you will see them. Um, and it's basically just a nice little treat, if you like. It's It's got a lot of fat in it, but very low carbs. It's nuts and things, very healthy, very natural. Um, so yeah, I think I might do that on Sunday. I'm really looking forward to that. And then I think I've got a pretty quiet week next week, which is good because we're busy again at the weekend. But I'm not going to go into that until next week. Um, Monday... This Monday coming is Jack and I's wedding anniversary. We will have been married for, wait for it, 17 years on Monday. How on earth has he put up with me for 17 years? That's what I want to know. We've been together 19 years and on Monday we'll have been married 17 years. Um, now, we don't tend to do very much for our anniversary, so we're not doing anything on Monday. I won't have a special meal or anything like that. However, next Saturday, um, as in a week, a week on Saturday, the 28th, is Jack's birthday. And we are going away for the day with Abby, which I'll tell you more about um, in next week's catch-up video. Um so we will probably have a nice day together then to celebrate his birthday and our anniversary but this week it won't affect me in any way shape or form with my diet i'm still not at the energy levels of exercising and um, but i'm hoping that that those energy levels will come up enough so that in the next couple of weeks i can start exercising again because i feel like i want to now um, my mind is in the right kind of frame for exercising, even just doing yoga again. I don't go to my chair yoga classes anymore, um, just for one reason or another. I'm always busy on a Friday or usually busy on a Friday, so I didn't get a chance to keep going to that. But I do want to start doing it again at home and hopefully within the next couple of weeks I'll get that started again. But I think that's where I'm at this week. I think that's everything that I had to update you on. Nothing else exciting happening? No, I don't think so. So please let me know how you're all getting on. You know I do like to hear it. Comment down below about your weight loss journey or just your life in general. Yes, um, a lot of my viewers do just tell me how their life's going in general. And on that subject, I would love to say congratulations to Doris for the arrival of little Bailey, a new little baby into her family last week. He is absolutely gorgeous. She emailed me a photo and he is adorable. So congratulations to you and your family, Doris. Um, so yeah, please just have a wee blather with me in the comments below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and do remember to hit that wee bell button and then select all so that you get notified anytime I put a video up. And like I say, hopefully the weekend vlog will already be up and hopefully I will get what I ate in the weekend up as well. And I also did a review of the Hunter and Gather mayonnaise with my mum, Granny Annie. So that should hopefully be up soon as well. So thank you so much for watching and please hit the thumbs up button and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!